Hi guys. Today we are going to talk about. Steven Spielberg named the shark Bruce after the name of his lawyer. Three mechanical bruises were made, each with specialized functions. Each shark cost approximately two hundred fifty thousand US dollars. Well, Lee Marvin didn't want the role. He said that he preferred to fish in real life, not film. The producer of the film suggested Robert Shaw, who enjoyed the actor in the sting. Spielberg watched a few old Shaw's films and then he decided to hire Shaw. Steven Spielberg didn't want actors that weren't that weren't really that famous. Steven Spielberg played the first clarinet for the beach scene. So, um, Steven Spielberg is not the original director because he wanted to change the shark to whale. So no one won that. Jaws was not the original title. There are stillness in the water, Jaws of Death, and more. But then they agreed on the name Jaws. It was short and nice. In reality, Richard Dreyfuss has never been on a boat until the shot of Jaws. Interesting. The entire shark system was remade using old school numeric blasts of compressed air to make the shark move. There are about 10 to 12 people pulling the levers to make the shark move. The star woman Suzanne, who as the first victim in the movie, wasn't an actress. Spielberg was nervous hiring her, but ended up loving her. And the budget was for the movie is eight million dollar. So, but it turned out to be four. $470 US dollar because they have to spend the budget, the money to the shop because you know in olden time they have a very poor uh, technology and the shop always failing and some technical problem so they had spent a lot of money on that isn't Jaws a nice movie did you know the backstory of it the idea of building a mechanical shark wasn't as easy as it looks it was quite challenging as many try and errors were made by the mechanics crew as technology in the mid 1970s wasn't much as we call as futuristic. So, the production crew really considered trying to train a live shark. Fortunately, Senna Hits prevailed and they succeeded in building a semi functional mechanical shark. On the first scene where the girl was yanked by the shark, it was actually pulled by 10 people each side with ropes tying around. Her body. Roy Scheider was hired by accident. So how? Okay. When he was in a party that Steven Spielberg hosted, and that party is all about his new movie Jaws, Roy Scheider sat down and listened. 
after that, they said, That's an interesting story. How about me? So, the fact is, the entire movie, even the novel, is based on a shark attacking people. So, if they had actually gone through the plan of putting in a killer whale, the movie would not have been a success that it was that it is known for today. While the actors were on the board with the sound man, there was a malfunction and the board began to leak. The board driver tried to get the board back before it sank. Each day, sometime, yeah lah, that, like how I say, they have to repair the shark. Jaws was not the original title. The author Peter Benchley thought of the title for months. He thought of the few, but quickly rejected them. The stillness in the water, the silence in deep, Jaws of death. After a final meeting with his editor, the only things they agreed on was Jaws. It was nice and sharp, and it fits on the cover, so they agree on it. My name is Sean. My name is Yanqing. My name is Mimi. 